Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. I just finished uh, healing up my Pokemon from the last episode, so yeah. And if you do enjoy this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to follow the links down in the description, that would be greatly appreciated because it helps the channel out greatly. So, yeah, we're just following the way we were went before. So that's what we're doing. Yep, this is what I do. All right, and oh, I'm gonna set my team up. Like, mm, yeah, we'll do it this way. Espeon and Umbreon, so that's how we'll do it. The dynamic duo of justice. Is it? No, I don't know. All right. But yeah, that. The, the, <laughs> I can speak. Umbreon will more than likely put a damper on his... On, oh, well, what do you know? What is that? A full restore. Oh, I could have used that before, but whatever. So, yeah. I could have... I can. Well, Umbreon will put a damper on his opponent while Uspion sets up a defense. That's if he goes all-out offense. So, yeah. Wahaha, ha, ha, now you're stuck. There's no escape to the lab for you. Hmm, funny. I went outside. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, I I heard the alarm, so I'm I came running. Running or falling, one or the other. Pick one. Espeon. Uh, wait, what? Are you... Okay, then. I uh, guess um, Espeon will set up a defense, and Umbreon will take out Kodabra. I know Kodabra is faster than Umbreon, unless I'm mistaken, so it's all out power right now and no missing. As I thought. Oh. Oh. Anything if I need a dragon Pokemon, <laughs> there it is. Turned into a Flygon. Alright, um. Swift. And. Confuse Ray. That will help. Maybe with a little bit of luck, I'll get it. So I'm already looking at kind of going, well, the odds are against me. But hey, anything can happen. Do I hate Swellow? No, if anything, that's a very, it's a very useful Pokemon, especially in, like, Ruby and Sapphire, but it's still just like, ugh, when people use it, it's a pain in the butt because it's so fast. But at the same time, it's fast, but it's a pain when it uses Double Team. And there's a certain look to it that I'm just like, ugh, I don't like it. I hate being nitpicky, but at the same time, that's just how it is. Alright. Bite. Probably a good thing I used Reflect. To reflect their personalities. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, damn it. So close. Ah, oh, whatever. Not much I can do about it now. Ugh. Well, then again, that's not a bad thing. This Pokemon's a but anyway, so this field is faster, but the number rounds a little slower, so it works in my favor immensely. Somewhat. Because that Pokemon will always switch types. So yeah, it kind of works in my favor because Umbreon's dark Pokemon and Psychic are weak against dark, so done. Mostly. Now take our Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on this one. Yeah, let's do that. 
Even though they say Swift never misses, uh, it misses. Especially with flying Pokemon that can fly. I believe. Yep. Yep, see? Things happen a little bit more often than we like. But the great thing is, that Pokemon's out of action. I know he. I knew he was going to be a bigger pain than Swallow, but oh dear Lord! No, well, all or nothing. All right, make attack. Oh, wait, what? Wait, why? Wait, I probably there's probably an item on there that I gave Umbreon. That allows him, allows him to. Oh. Wow, okay, um, allows it to go first. Alright, we're gonna use Reflex. And then we're gonna bite him. Of course, the biggest, the whole long move there is. But hey, right now, defense is paramount. Alright. Is that or. Uh, no. <laughs> At this point, um, uh, it's beyond is gonna be go go quietly one way or another. So, are you serious? I mean, are you serious? What is this? What is this acetry? Oh, oh my gosh! Are you serious? I mean, seriously. If it happens again, it's like, what is with this? This one-sided pe- Oh my gosh. Ugh, it's annoying. There's that, then there's the swallow arrogance. So, Alright. But at least it has to be Alright, that was a big boost. You're too strong, little boy. Excuse me. <laughs> what do I mean by that? I mean, excuse me. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm burning through hyper potions like there's no tomorrow. Let's see. Um. Oh, cool. I can move it up. Oh. Well, I can move it up, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, move it. There. Oh, give me a break. When are they gonna just... When are they just gonna drop dead and die? Wait. Door's locked, of course. Wait a minute. Uh... Mmm. Mmm. Oh. So that's what that was all about. <laughs> not once, not twice, but three times we meet. Do you recall who I am? I shall avenge my humiliation at the Relic Forest. Okay. Mr. Bandana Guy with shades on. Let's see how well you fare. I'm not particularly worried about the water Pokemon, but Wabafet, yes. Somewhat. Right. There we go, there's a strategy right there, just waiting in the mists. In the mists, excuse me. But at the same time, Wobbuffet can't do anything unless, well, you say, uh, but anyway. The thing is, I want to see what he's going to do. Okay. Oh, just mean special attack all the way. Counter, okay. Help me, man. Actually, bite. Because at this point, bite is better if a Pokemon moves slower than the. Well, if my Pokemon moves faster than theirs, then well, then there you go. So yeah. There we go. So yeah, that's my logic. And well, then there you go. <laughs> well, it looks like it didn't pan out as it thought it as you thought it would. So yeah, bite is better for if your Pokemon's really fast, and faint attack is if your Pokemon's slower. 
that or you're dealing with an opponent who's um, very evasive. And one buffet's a pain in the butt, so especially when used correctly. You know the well, you know you all know what I mean. If your opponent uses it correctly. And in this situation, he's an idiot. So just say. Oh no, waterfall. As I said, oh no, waterfall. Tackle Graveler because the water Pokemon's not really a threat. I don't know. It's not really a threat. And I'm just kind of like, oh, we're just gonna double team him. Take out the weaker of the two. Oh, would you look at that? It means it's kind of like, well, I can both use dark moves and psychic moves on it, and it really wouldn't bother it. And it won't be super effective, but it won't be. Uh, not very effective. So yeah, since it's a fighting psychic, weird combo, I know. So it's just as effective. But, just to say, it, it appears that every every Pokemon I seem to be fighting, they just, they, these two just keep knocking them out. Oh, look at that. And, oh. Um, okay. worked out nicely, actually. But I'm not gonna use... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use potions at all. I'm just... Uh, no. Now, for strategy reasons, I don't do that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, and he's just gonna disappear and not say anything. See? Alright, so I'm gonna go back up, because at this point, I already know I'm gonna be facing off against such and such guy so yeah so by that time I'll probably yeah I'll just go to that spot again and then just yeah and I'll just end the episode because if anything the last episode's gonna be oh that's good well last episode being of this session because I always do it in threes um be facing off against him so yeah all right All right, so I'm just gonna do that, and we're not gonna make the same mistake twice with the uh, uh, with the <laughs> the boxes per se. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised that time has just flown, to say the least. So yeah, for me, it's just been quick. And that kind of bums me out a little bit. It's like, oh man, this is going by too quick. I enjoy myself way too much with this. Box two. Box two. Box two. Well, okay. I'm, I realize I'm kind of going a little overboard here, but bear with me. Just, oh, that's right. It's quick. Okay, Umbreon has quick claw. That explains a lot. So, yeah. All right. All right, so I'm gonna rearrange the team back to where it was before. Espeon and Umbreon to start, and then everybody else is, you know, that. So I'm just trying to think. I, I mean, I actually have missed out on opportunities to actually check out what um, the admit and uh, yeah, I'm talking very much a lot about them, um, the admins team. But I've just said, no, I'm not going to check it out. That, that, that spoils the fun. It's, it's, uh, it spoils the genuine, like, oh, I'm sh I'm screwed. Yay, I win, kind of thing. Not that I'm some... Not that I'm genuinely, like, I am the best Pokemon trainer in the world. No. <laughs> no. I have not ever competed in a Pokemon G... Uh, whatever they call that. One of those international tournaments where these people, I mean, these people, holy crap, they go all out to train Pokemon. And their Pokemon are just ridiculous, and they have strategies that just, I'm just kind of like, well, it blows my strategy out of the water. Why? Because it's the most easiest and most generic strategy there is. So, yeah. 
that's me. I'm, my strategy is very straightforward. Theirs are elaborate. So, okay. So I'm gonna end the episode right here. So in the next episode, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue on down those stairs and see what happens next. So yeah, if you do like this content, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanna follow me, or if you wanna follow the links down in the description, down to the links, then that'd be greatly appreciated, and it also helps out the channel greatly. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time.